Good beautiful afternoon everyone. It is Sunday, June 12th, 2022. Mark's pulling into the only available spot here. He's going to actually just sit with Teddy. I'm going to take you down and show you what we are here to see, but you guys know what to do. Grab yourself a tasty treat and a beverage of your choice and keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside this room. Back to the car. Here he comes. I found the tree house. Hi, I'm Christina from Herrick's to Coasters. I have told you time and time again, you're not going to paint the baby pink. Gonna drive the Jeep. Gonna drive it down the road. See where we go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> On the next episode of Alone, Family Challenge. Hi, Mr. Pink. Who is this little bundle of joy? Harbor Head Lighthouse and yes do be prepared if you're coming to see this this is only as big as the parking lot is they do have a bike rack though if you're biking in that's good there is a vault two two stalls for a vault but this is as big as the parking lot is and you cannot park anywhere on the road in can't block driveways, can't park along the road. So if you can't park in here, you basically out of luck. All right, let's go down, take a peek. So my very first trip to Acadia National Park actually was when I was in Girl Scouts, when I was like in still technically uh, later years of elementary school. Mama. Mama. Oh, I hear a teddy coming, hello. That's a buoy, honey. And uh, I actually sketched this lighthouse. It's one of the things from my childhood I wish I still had. All right, Teddy, honey, slow down and wait for mom, okay? Yeah, it's a lighthouse. You gonna go see it with mama? So here's the keeper's house, which is, I don't know if this is still run by Coast Guard or if it's no. what? No, it's not still run by Coast Guard. Okay, so it's a private it's residence. Oh, it is owned by the Park Service. Who gets to live in this? <laughs> <laughs> nice residence. <laughs> yeah. All right, Teddy, wait up, honey. So uh, this is on the National Register of Historic Places. Bass Harbor Head Light Station. 1858 designated. That's pretty impressive. Anyway, Mark was telling me, yes, it is owned by the Park Service. I think he usually thinks maybe like artist in residence maybe is what they use it for. They don't use it for employee housing. Right? So, Teddy's been entertaining guests. So I get a, luckily a few quick pictures. The bell. Teddy by the bell. Look. Yes, Mark's still in uniform. Don't mind that. <laughs> we came right from, he got off work and I said, I got to catch the lighthouse at least once before we leave. Yeah, the sign says, please don't hit the bell. So, just like we were telling some guests that uh, Mark's dad actually fishes right out here in Bass Harbor. You've heard me say in videos before, he's a lobster fisherman, like 50, I don't know, 53, 54 years he's going on. I love all the sea roses coming out now. Uh oh, I think Teddy fell. So I might take a walk down there. You see people taking pictures from down on those rocks. There's actually a path over there. And that actually does have a better view. Hey, look, I can tell them they're now on Hammocks to Coasters on YouTube. Let me zoom in on them. They'll never know. 
they're on YouTube now. They wanted those people to take their picture, and now they're on YouTube. All right, zooming back out. All right, but yeah, anyway, as I was saying, there is a path. So if you take that path and go way down on those rocks, you get a much better view. I've been out in my father-in-law's lobster boat, and that's the best view, is to actually be out and about to get a good view. But I'll take a, a walk down so that you can actually see the lighthouse a little bit better. So, stepping back again. I take it Mark headed up with Teddy. So off the edge of the parking lot, on the other side of the restrooms, there is a path you can take. No, made sure Teddy was okay, and he was. He did trip, but he was fine. So I'm gonna take you down the path. What do you bet? There used to be a tower there or something. Take you down the path. Well, I haven't been down this path since 2014. I think Mark and I came down here and caught a sunset one night when we were here waiting to go to Yosemite. So I paused partway down to show you guys it is not ADA accessible. So be sure you can climb stairs and then it turns in from wooden stairs to stone steps. So do make sure you have good footing if you choose this path. I also wanted to stop and listen to the bell for a minute. Hold on. Of course, when I go to record, it's not really banging very much. So, Mark was actually answering some questions to some guests. Uh, they, they don't really, fishermen and ship people don't really go by lighthouses anymore. They really do go by, well, like my father-in-law has a fancy GPS in his vessel. But also, you know, in case your GPS were to go, going by these bells and buoys is really what they go by. I'm going to take you down and maybe we'll pause on the way back and get a bit more. So I'm really zoomed in to try to get rid of some sun glare and I apologize. I didn't even think about that it's uh, facing to the west and the sun would be in the way. But it's not the most picturesque view right now. But you get uh, a point that if you were to come down on the rocks, if you physically could be able to do that, you do get a better view. And exactly from where I took that shot from, I'm turning around and looking back out at the bell. So sometimes even camping uh, down the road in Seawall, you can hear the different bells, especially fog is holding them in. That's a little bit windy, so I hope it doesn't come into the mic too bad, but I wanted to kind of zoom out to give you guys a, a better, uh, kind of a panoramic view of where I'm standing down on the rocks. Now, my father-in-law could tell you the names of all those islands out there. I cannot. Winds are shifting. Oh, well, that's cool to see. And then look up at. I know, sun's right in the way. I'm sorry, guys. I'll zoom in again to show you. All right, now I'm probably not going to see this again for the next couple days that I'm left here. So, one more little view. 
then I'll head back up. So time to go home and make supper. But even though Teddy climbs rocks a lot with me, this is something I wanted to be able to do with Mark's help so that I didn't have to worry about Teddy while I was down here because it really is kind of a hard maneuver. I'm making my way back up. Stop to try to get some video for TikTok of the bell, but I don't don't think it came out very good. Oh well. So that's gonna do it for this adventure, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace and love. Keep adventuring. God bless. And hey, what is next anyway, huh? Where will you find us next? See you next adventure.